the holiday vlogs are here and they are coming in hot or should i say coming in cold this quality questionable anyway i'm trying to get into the holiday spirit here i have my christmas crew neck on i've been listening to holiday music i cannot believe it is the last month of 2021 cheers to that speaking of matcha today marks the start of my matcha advent calendar it's basically a new matcha flavor every day for all the days leading up until christmas so i made that this morning it is officially day one of doing my matcha advent calendar very exciting things today day one is a cream of earl grey matcha blend i'm doing it as like a little instagram story vlogmas so let's get everything ready first so Here's my setup. I've got everything laid out so I can do this story in one shot. I'm very excited. Day one, let's do it. Somehow, it is December 1st. That is interesting. Okay, I did it. That was really overwhelming. That felt like 10 seconds and that was a minute long, but good enough. And here we are now. I just did my makeup. I still need to put on some lip gloss. I'm lazy though. I always get lazy with lip gloss because I feel like my hair gets stuck in it or it comes off on my water bottle when I'm drinking water, but that actually looks really cute. Okay. I am so excited to start these holiday vlogs. I'm clearly not doing Vlogmas, which is when you vlog every day of December up until Christmas. I value my sanity a little too much and I think I would go over the edge, but don't you worry. I still have a lot of fun holiday content coming up today. Specifically, it's going to be really fun. My mom and I are going Christmas shopping, which is just the best way to bring in the holiday cheer. Gift shopping for others always makes me so happy. I'm always so excited to buy things for people and gift shop for yourself. This is going to be the first Christmas shop of the year. I did a lot online already, but this is going to be the first in-person one at the mall. Yesterday, I did a little pre-Christmas shopping at Target. Today is the first official Target holiday run of the season for me. Unfortunately, I have zero game plan going into this, nor do I have any idea of what I want to get slash look for. So... This should be very interesting and fun. I did not know she came out with the new book. I have her other ones, so I think this one is about habits. still feel so out of place in the alcohol section. <laughs> I used to feel like it was illegal to even walk through it when I was in 21, but even now that I am, I feel like I don't belong. I'm not getting anything, I just wanted to say that. I'm on the hunt for a Christmas mug, but I'm not impressed by the selection, let me show you. Nothing here is really tickling my pickle, so. No Christmas mug today. Oh my gosh, I have not been in a Target in so long and they renovated it and it's so cute. They are really good at marketing because I genuinely want everything. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Three, a few of the things I actually did need. The way I'm actually sweating. They don't call it a Target run for no reason. I got two rolls of wrapping paper, one green and one of this cute truck with a Christmas tree in the back. I got two little gift bags. We reuse these. It's so funny because every time we give someone a gift in these, we're like, can we please have it back? And I swear we've had some of the same Christmas bags for over five, six, seven years. So I thought it'd be fun to add some new ones. I saw this, I was immediately intrigued because I just love the topic of habits. I got this AirTag holder because I wanna attach it to my keys. So if I ever lose my keys slash wallet, I will be able to find it. I have seen this body wash so many times on my For You page and everyone says it makes you smell just so good and clean and that's what I strive to smell like. I'm very much so trying to cultivate my signature smell. So we're gonna try out this body wash. I've heard a lot about it. Speaking of deodorant, matcha and sweet cream. Take a whiff. It just smells very fresh and kind of has like a sweet scent to it, which I really love. This one I found in the men's section. This one just smells like a clean, fresh out of the ocean man. 
Got some new toothpaste to try out. And lastly, what I'm very excited about, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a dog cookie cutter. I hope so. That's my Target haul. And now we're here. I have a list of things that I need to get for people. I'm not really shopping for myself today. I say that, but you know me a little too well. Maybe a little sum sum, but we'll see. I'm gonna change out of this as much as I wish I could wear winter clothes. It's not gonna happen, so. Aw, I got foundation on my pants. <laughs> it looks like poo poo. Here is my extraordinarily simple outfit of the day. I think I'm gonna wear a forest green converse with this. That'll be very cute. <sighs> I've tried to say this seven times. I love basic outfits. I don't know why people shit on them because they're just the cutest. As a society, I think we could collectively decide that basic doesn't need to have a negative connotation because why does basic have to mean bad? It doesn't have to. Also, the perfume I just sprayed, it's my new favorite one from Replica. I was at the grocery store yesterday and the old lady checking me out was like, darling, you smell so good. And that's how I knew I had a good perfume. This looks so amazing and colorful and pretty and beautiful and amazing and delicious and fantastic. <laughs> hey guys, the shopping queens are back and ready to attack. <laughs> Absolutely. If you put the two of us together, it is just not good news, I feel like. We always... I, I love shopping with Ava. She's the best person to shop with. That is a great and bad thing. Anyway, we <laughs> just went to Arvo. It is our favorite place to get brunch. So Absolutely. we're fueled up, and we're about to go Christmas shopping. I can't wait. <laughs> no! <laughs> you have to Boy smells. If I was back in the day, I would have made like a joke about this, about being single and been like, I need these. I just got Connor's mom a gift. It's always hard shopping for the boyfriend's mom. Not that I have experience. I have like two years experience, but I wanted to get her something nice. So I got her Joe Malone. We are at Le Labo. This recently just opened up and I've seen all of my YouTubers that I watch talking about this. So I've been so excited to try it. I saw it and I picked out a little body wash for Connor to give to him for Christmas. I think my mom's getting me a lotion, which is so sweet, but we just tried out literally every single scent. I'm very excited. My mom just went off a little bit for me <laughs> for my first Le Labo <laughs> lotion. I am so excited. Look at this candle kit. If you know someone who likes candles, go to Nordstrom. They have a wick dipper, a wick trimmer, and a wick snuffer. So cute. I'm obsessed with all of Nordstrom's like gift sets and stuff. It's adorable. Okay, on to the next. Where shall we go? Sephora? Sephora. Question mark? Yes. yes. <laughs> this is me practicing self-control and not going into Aritzia because I don't need anything. Even though I was trying to encourage you. My mom was trying to encourage me. This is what I said. We're so bad together because sure. one of us convinces the other, but I'm walking away. I am walking away. Not going in here, but this Gucci storefront is so cute. Love the color scheme. We are going to Bath and Body Works. It is our last stop for the day. We need a Christmas smelling candle. We need a tree smelling candle because we don't have a real tree this year. So that's the goal. Okay, this is perfect. I'm pretty sure this one smells like Christmas trees. Give it a whiff. It does. Yeah? It does. It smells fantastic. Oh my gosh, that smells like a literal tree, as it should. Yay, okay. Let's get this and run. Not run out the store, but like run to their house yeah. It is so hard not to get every single one of these. I always thought it would be such a cool job to be like a candle name-er. Does that make sense? Like the person who names candle scents? I feel like I'd do a horrible but amazing job. I also wonder what it would be like to be a nail polish namer, so. Also, we met the nicest people in this store today. I love you. <laughs> One of the workers was a viewer. She was so sweet, Adina. And then the person who checked us out, Kavika, he went to my meet and greet three years ago and he was like, I remember you. I don't know from where. And I was like, I hate you too. <laughs> and he came to my meet and greet. I love reuniting with you, so. <laughs> Made my day. This is the last place I need to go. I like to get something for my team, for like my managers, agents, and business managers, something that's kind of from Hawaii. So Honolulu Cookie Company. Is my favorite. I already picked out some stuff. These are so cute. I feel like this is the perfect gift. It's like in a little surfboard tin that you can reuse. If you ever come here, check it out. They have amazing cookies. I think we're done for the day. 
Should we do some more? No. <laughs> we need to go home immediately. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> yeah, it was a thumbnail. I got some good stuff for the team members. Look at this cute. Can you, can you see the boxes? Isn't that cute? Your team members? Yeah. Good girl. Thank you. Sure Look at how many nice cookies are in there too. That's fabulous. Nice, I love nice assortment. That's so cute. I will definitely send those out very soon. Okay, I'm getting everything organized. Some of the stuff I'm not gonna show you right now because my mom wanted to take me Christmas shopping. I feel like I'm at the age where I don't need to be surprised. Being surprised is nice, but she just likes to take me shopping, which is very sweet. So I will show you what I got from Jo Malone. I got Connor's mom a little gift set. It wasn't a pre-made one. I just got her a matching candle and lotion set with a scent that I think she'll really like. So they packaged it so nicely. I don't even know if I'm gonna repackage it because it's already so pretty. So I got that for her. Hopefully she likes it. As you saw, went into Bath and Body Works. I made the mistake of not going during the sale, so I did pay full price for a candle. It was okay. <laughs> it's definitely worth it. I have never liked the scent of fresh balsam, which genuinely smells exactly how a Christmas tree farm smells. Get a whiff of that. It is so accurate. It's almost scary. Normally I despise the smell of fresh cut grass or trees, but it felt necessary since we're not having a real tree this year I feel like it'd be nice to burn this downstairs So this is gonna go downstairs and then from Sephora. I picked up a few things. I got a new conditioner I haven't tried the one from way yet, but I have a lot of other stuff from them that I like so I'm gonna try that out I got a mini size of the Murad facial cleanser that I use this Freck cheek slime lip and cheek tint. I'm really excited to try this. It kind of just caught my eye and I've heard a few people talk about this but it's basically just like a cheek and lip tint that you put on. I love products like this. I feel like it always looks very natural versus powder so I'm excited to try that out. And that is the haul. I hope you guys had so much fun but this video is not done yet. A couple of days ago my mom and I decorated the downstairs for the holidays. Today is the day after Thanksgiving which means it is the official start to Christmas. We're gonna decorate the house today have this tree already because I bought it in November. I had to do a few brand deals that were holiday themed, so I bought this tree. And we're gonna keep it. It's gonna be our Christmas tree this year. It's our first year not having a real tree. We're gonna need to buy some fresh balsam from Bath and Body Works to make it smell like it. Here it is, not in her full glory yet. But we're gonna transform it into a very pretty tree. It's like a rose gold. It looks kind of silver on camera, but the box said rose gold. It definitely has like a gold tint to it. It's very cute. One of the things is going off in here. Hello? It just started yeah, what? You've been like rotting in here for a year and you're playing? What's going on? Oh <laughs> what the heck? Anyway, here's the setup. We've got our four bins of Christmas. Five! <gasps> We're about to get started. Go ham. I love it. Making a quick Starbucks run to get my mom and I in the holiday spirit. It's the only way it's gonna happen because it is literally 85 degrees outside. Don't get me wrong, holidays in Hawaii are so fun and special in their own way, but I just feel like there's nothing like waking up to a white Christmas. Oh my gosh. Being able to wear a Christmas sweater without overheating and on the verge of heat stroke, that must be magical but i feel like it's human nature to want what we don't have so i just got to starbucks i did a mobile order so it should be ready let's go thank you i've got the goodies i got myself a caramel crunch frappuccino definitely a little treat moment i get it with almond milk uh it eases the stomach issues i'm sorry but this is just so delicious it's definitely a treat i don't get this that often so when i do i'm so excited to drink it my mom got a white mocha yeah great progress has been made on the house all the main areas are pretty much decorated it's gonna look so pretty at night but it's looking so good my mom is very obsessed and captivated by snowmen so that's why there's snowmen everywhere if you're wondering the tree decorating will be saved for another day maybe we'll do that like december 1st or something that could be nice just to save something to do i think we're gonna go for like a red and gold theme but we'll see and then 
that'll be it. As for my room, the only thing I decorated with was this ceramic tree, which lights up and it's very cute at night. I decided not to do the whole shebang with my room this year. Mostly because one, I'm lazy. And two, I'm not doing vlogmas or anything where I would want my room to be nice and festive for the videos. But I have like a cute little red candle and the tree. It's enough. When I have my apartment one day, I'll go ham on decorating the whole thing, but I decided to keep my room a little more simple this year. If you want some good throwback feels, I did so many Christmas room decorating videos back in the day. <laughs> Bless you. I hope that you are having an amazing December so far. I feel like time ugh, just was warped this year. Growing up is weird in the sense that you go from Christmas being just this magical thing and it definitely still is it's obviously not the same when you grow up though being a little kid is so fun during christmas i'm not gonna cry about this right now because it is literally like one in the afternoon thanks for coming along in this video i feel like it's the little things you gotta do to get yourself in the holiday spirit so decorating your room decorating your home or even just going christmas shopping honestly just boosts my mood so much comment down below how you like to get into the christmas spirit i would love to know I would love to apply it because like I said, sometimes it can be hard to get into the Christmas spirit when it literally feels like summer still. Anyway, happy holidays. Follow my Instagram if you want. We have a lot of fun on there. Goodbye. Not the peace sign.